Welcome to mobile application tutorials. My name is Nigel. In this Flutter development tutorial, we're going to be showing you how you can switch between images using the bottom navigation bar, such as an example here. And if we move across to the documentation, there will be a link in the description. Um, we can see here that it's number four episode here. So this follows on from the navigation drawer or the drawer of how to navigate between images or switch replacing your widgets. Um, the code will be uploaded to Git. And if you don't want to follow the video tutorial, the code changes are in the web posting as well. Okay, so we will make a start. So we'll jump across to our Android Studio. Okay, I'll just remove this bottom bar here. Right, so what we want to do is add a bottom navigation bar and conveniently the scaffold widget also provides us with a bottom navigation bar property. So that's what we're going to use. Okay, so we'll add that property probably at the bottom there just because the bottom navigation bar is going to sit at the bottom. And there it is there at the bottom navigation bar property and we're going to need to create a new bottom navigation bar. We'll select this one there. Just let me tidy this up slightly. Okay, so this takes items, so it's just a list of, it's basically just lists, so we can use the Dart notation to provide a, a list for that. And it's going to be a list of new bottom navigation bar items. And I will tidy this up slightly again as well. So it's a little bit easier to read. Okay, so we've got one item here. We're going to need three items, but let's just do a bit of work on the first item. So we're just going to code in there. So the bottom navigation bar is just going to re uh, represent the first image. And to get that, I can just call photos, first element there, and select icon. And we're just basically going to do the same for For uh, we're basically going to just do the same for the title as well. Now make sure you select photos, and we can select the title there as well. Okay, so we've got the first bar, um, bottom navigation bar item. What I'm going to do is just copy and paste that three times. And we just need to change the elements and photos for the other two bottom navigation bar items. And I'll replace that to, oh, replace that to two. Okay. That should be the only changes, so we'll do a hot reswap. And as you can see, our bottom navigation bar is now being displayed. It's not doing anything, and it's not updating the bottom navigation bar index just yet, so we'll move on to that. So we'll do the part where when we select another button, we update and highlight the select button first. And to do that, we need to create an index. So. At the top of the load image state here, I will create an index value and I'll just call this bottom nav bar index and we'll give it a default value of one. So basically, if you first start up the application, it's going to go straight, it's going to highlight the first item, the first widget. Okay, now let's go back, scroll on back down to our bottom navigation bar. And while I'm here, I just want to show you how you can realign um, the alignment of 
the uh, properties here because sometimes they're out of alignment so I'm just going to highlight all these right click on this and reformat code with dart MT and that's just shifted across the pro properties there to put them in proper alignment so now I'm going to add and I believe it's a current index item there and supply it with I just want to touch up the naming here and make this private and to make a function or a, a method or property private you just need to put underscore in front of it okay so we can now provide that value to our current index here okay so we've set up the index there but we do need to modify it when once we select one of those bottom navigation bar items so we need to implement the on tap and if I just press F1 on on tap you'll see that it's an anonymous function that's provided with an int parameter that int parameter is actually the new updated index so we'll go back into there and we need to implement that anonymous function and we'll just call the uh, parameter it's going to be of a type int index okay so we've got the index now so we can update our bottom navigation bar index with the actual index value there okay so we'll do a hot re-swap there and see once we select a bottom navigation bar item if that new item does get highlighted so hot re-swap and I'm going to select image item 2 and it doesn't I've gone and left something out there so it's being set but what we're not telling when we're not telling the application to update the UI and to update the UI we call set state okay now we can push move that across into here and now let's update it again and we'll try pressing it and as you can see it's updated item 3 we'll click item 2 and item 1 so if we do need to cause a reload of the UI by causing set states so that was the issue that we had there okay and finally we're not actually switching across to the new images there either so what we can do here is just call if we go back up there what's it called we can call our selected photo with the um, specific photo and we've got index just to be able to just to choose the correct photo class from the list so let's go back down to here and we can call selected photo there and it's a matter of calling our photos list and just passing in the index make sure you stick a semicolon on the end there so now, now let's do a hot reload and now let's see if we're going to switch between images and select another one and go back to image three so we are now um, successfully able to switch between images using the uh, bottom navigation bar currently um, this is not synchronized the bottom navigation bar is not synchronized with the drawer such so a pressed image one you don't see it reflected in the bottom navigation bar item or if we switch across to image three again you're not seeing that reflected in the bottom navigation bar and for those of you who would like to synchronize your pop-up menu and your drawer with the bottom navigation bar I'll show you how you can get around and do that so we're going to need to add an index to our photo class I'm just going to call it index it's going to be a type int and we'll just call it index and we'll add that to our class constructor okay 
And now we will um, set it up when we, during the um, construction uh, compilation of the application itself, because it's a const. So we'll just add this to each one of the photo classes. And again, we're just going to create a supply that with a number. So I'm just going to give that an index of zero. I'll paste that that down there give this an index of one and paste it there and give this index of two okay so we've now set up indexes for our photo classes so let's now go back down into our bottom navigation bar and what I can do here is now just remove this line here the uh, where we set up the index and the bottom navigation bar index and I'm going to paste it into the selected photo method there and let me just paste it into here now we don't have an index here now but what we can do is just replace that with our photo and photo does have an index okay so basically if we select the pop-up menu or the uh, navigation drawer or the drawer um, we are going to be updating the index and when we call set state we do reload the UI so you, the changes should now be propagated across to the bottom navigation bar anyway let's check that so if we do a hot reswap okay and if I click on the uh, draw select image one you can see now see down here image one is being highlighted so if we go across select the pop-up menu and select image three we can see I'll see image three is being highlighted and normal behavior with the other just by using the bottom navigation bar itself and that completes this flutter development tutorial where we just implemented the bottom navigation bar and conveniently enough such as in some of the previous tutorials the scaffold does provide us with a bottom navigation bar property so we just had to create a bottom navigation bar widget for that and just implemented it with the uh, properties of the photo class itself and finally for those of you who do want to synchronize your bottom navigation bar highlighted items with the pop-up menu and the drawer we just showed you how to do that by adding an index to the photos itself and updating that when we create the list Anyway, so that completes this uh, tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you do want to follow my videos, my tutorials. I do do Flutter, I do Kotlin, I do Android, and I go for a wide range of applications as well. And please note, I don't really respond to technical questions that often. I just don't have the time just to read them by besides absorbing what they're asking. But just to keep this channel going and just to put food in my mouth, I do provide a Code Mentor uh, account and I put the details above there. And so that's paid professional consultancy sessions where I can help you out with your projects or help you learning um, Flutter, Kotlin, or just helping you out with what you need to get done. Please note that is a paid session. Anyway, thank you for taking the time for watching this one. Bye for now.